Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas United. Welcome to another video, and this is episode two of how to improve series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Tottenham Hotspur and how we can make the Lily White one of the best teams in Europe for the next coming seasons. Um, for at first, I want to say that Spurs have progressed a lot on their, on their Mauricio Pochettino, and that obviously the manager that I uh, I think Spurs should be continuing with is Mauricio Pochettino. I think that he's developed the project to not to levels that I don't think anyone expected this. Uh, he's a fantastic manager, one of the managers, one of the best managers in the world, definitely. And he's worked with Spurs with what they were to what they are now. It's been absolutely world class. When when they t when Mauricio Pochettino took over Tom Hotspur, they were mid table, the mid table mediocrity, and he's managed to take them consistently in the top four. It's been absolutely world class from Pochettino. He has been he even challenged for a Premier League title at a point when Leicester won the league. And I think that if he's giving continuity and if like he really reaching a Champions League final. And a few, and another, and a few years to go, he reach a cup final. I think that he could, he could be given the tools to challenge for the Premier League, and maybe who knows, even even challenge for another Champions League trophy. He is, he, you know, he's in that stage where he just has a few more signings and maybe a little bit more time. He could do really big things with Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, his pressing side is absolutely fantastic. His way of pressing all 11, I think that he's one of the measures that's given uh, Pep Guardiola the most troubles. Like he definitely, a Jurgen Klopp, knows how to give a good possession side a trouble, and he's he's a manager that can do both. He can he's dynamic. He can change his formations. He can play with the ball, ha have the possession, or he can give you the possession and get and get you on the counter. So he is a very versatile. Coach, and I think that the, one of the best young talented developers in war football. Uh, well said and done. I'm gonna get it first into the players that I think that Spurs should let go of because obviously I know they're paying for a stadium and they have a lot of money to spend. But I think with the Champions League revenue and knowing that this season they could step up and at least guarantee themselves guaranteeing the top four. So they're like don't have any scares of not being in the top four because they fell off at the end of the season a little bit and their top four was under threat. But they have all the tools to be a great side. They have, in my opinion, the third best starting eleven in the league. And for for a lot for a few years they had, in my opinion, one of the two between two and three best starting elevens in the league as well. It's been really consistent. They've been able to keep a lot of the good players and. They're being ma mainly able to keep those players because those players like the project, like Pochettino. They like what they're what they're building at Tom Hotspur. And I think that if they can convince other players to join them and compete at the highest level, it would be really beneficial for them. Now, with all the said and done, let's get into the players that I think that Tom Hotspur could be uh, letting go of to make their squad better and change a few things around. I think that they should be getting rid of two goalkeepers. Uh, the first is Mitchell Bourne. I think that Paolo Gazzaniga for the second role as a goalkeeper, he does perfectly fine. But there, and this is a question mo mainly that I, I, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section below. Do you think that Hugo Lloris should be in the Barcelona role? Uh, in my opinion, he's a little bit of an overrated goalkeeper. I think that he's that great that people make him out to be. Like, you know, there's a few goalkeepers I think that are. are a bit overrated for what they are. Uh, examples: Loris, uh, you know, Courtois, Casillas. Like you have a few play, you have a few goalkeepers that I think that they're a little bit overrated for what they are. And Loris, I think, is falls in one of them. But you know, if Tottenham fans uh, decide to keep him, I 
don't see it as the worst thing in the world. You think that he's very prone to make mistakes, and I think he's made what? On average, six mistakes leading to goals a season for the past three to four seasons, something like that. I think that's a little bit of a big number. He's going to be 33 in December, so I think that signing another goalkeeper for a first-team goalkeeper would be beneficial and it wouldn't be too bad. You can still get a bit of money for him, and you can sign a goalkeeper for cheap. That's still really good, and you know, Pochettino, it's great at giving the youngster confidence. Uh, I also want to get rid of Trippier and Serge Aurier. I think that the right position is an incognita. I don't think that there is many... Like, I don't think Trippier is as good as right back as Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker was definitely one of the best right backs in the league when he left for Manchester City, but he is nothing, in my opinion, that is irreplaceable. Like, players like Trippier and Kyle Walker, I think, are right backs that you could easily replace if you really look down in the market. And there's a few options out there that I'm going to say in the comment lineup. Uh, Sertoria the same. For me, Sertoria had the potential to be one of the best right backs in the world. Uh, it didn't come out to be. Maybe his professionalism and attitude didn't work out. Uh, he had problems with visas at the beginning of his time at Tom Hotspur. And I just think that they could still get decent money for both right backs and there is definitely suits for both of them in the market. Then you have, I think, Danny Rose. Uh, I think you have to sell another left, uh, one of the two left between him and Ben Davis, and I chose Danny Rose because I think he has much more market value than Ben Davis, and Ben Davis for a second, for the role of second left back, it's perfectly fine for Tom Hotspur. I think that Rose, you could still get 20 to 30 million for Danny Rose easily for the feast turn around in the Premier League. Uh, big turn Moniyama. I think that with the injuries that he's had and the amount of center midfielders that rumoredly are going to be joining Spurs with the ones that really have, I think that Onyama is surplus for requirements at Spurs. I think Lamela, again, injury problems have had injured, have had, like, you know, have hindered his performances at Spurs. And I think that they already have far too many, like, with the, with the squad that I think that they could have. I think that Lamella just don't have any place in the squad anymore. Vincent Johnson and Llorente. Llorente's out of a contract. And I think Vincent Johnson, he hasn't been able to do anything at Spurs of much matter. I think it's been a shame. Uh, he's a decent striker in my opinion. He just hasn't been able to succeed at Spurs. And this is a thing about continuity. He's one of the few players that's not been given continuity at Spurs for one reason or another. And well, he he's a decent striker. I'm sure he has, he could get some decent goals on a team that gives him minutes. And if he happens to have luck, but at Spurs, his time I think is over. Now, there's a player that I think that if he wants to stay, then you should keep him because I'm sure that he's probably. I think in my opinion, he's a fan favorite of Pochettino. He's probably the first team in his squad every single game, and that's Christian Eriksen. But he has had some declarations that lead me to believe that he is ready to move on from Spurs and seeing that Real Madrid are looking for a set to midfielder. If they cannot get Paul Pogba, which I think is the primary signing for Real Madrid at center midfield, I think that they will get Eriksen for about a hundred million. And you know, if Eriksen wants to stay, then cool. But if he wants to leave, I'll happily take a hundred million and who knows. Maybe you could do something between 100 million plus player or a player plus money. That would be pretty decent. Uh, but, you know, like that's if he wants to leave, he wants to stay. He's had what? Uh, 10 plus goals plus assists in in this year's uh, season. I think that he's been spectacular. Uh, a lot of assists, a lot of goals, really decisive, really good passing between the lines. And it's all up to Ericsson to be honest. If he wants to renew his contract or not, he's at the he's end the contract at the end of the, at the end of next season. So uh, it's all to see coming up next season. Now, for the lineup that I think that Tom Hotspur could be having for next season, you have the likes of Lafont and Mike Magnon. I'm sorry if I'm butchering their names, but uh, they're both French goalkeepers. One plays for Fiorentina and Magnon plays for Lille. I think that. A font, in my opinion, would be the choice. I think for because Lille has finished second and he's playing Champions League football, he could cost you know a lot of money. 
but Alban Lafont, I think it's an absolutely fantastic goalkeeper. I think he's better than Mignon. I think he's one of the best potential goalkeepers in the world overall. And uh, because Fiorentina had, you know, that relegation scare, if he's given minutes, if you're gonna sell Loris, then Lafont would be my option. But uh, Mignon again, another fantastic goalkeeper, and I think that they wouldn't cost you. I think Lafont would be between 20 and 30 million euros, and Mignon more of the same. I think if you keep Loris, then fine. You could have Loris, but in my opinion, I pick Avan Lafont. And center backs, I think you have the Belgian partnership of Bertongen and Alderbeerold. I think they're still at a really high level. Bertongen had a fantastic season last season, spectacular from him. Uh, that means Sanchez has covered with Juan Foyt. And I don't think you have to make any signs to center back if you're going to keep those four. If you were going to get rid of Alderbeerold, is going to be leaving this season. Then there is a few options, even in the, even in, in the on loan that Spurs have. But I think that those four center backs would do a job for Spurs. I think a right back you have my option. My first option for for a uh, Tom Hotspur would be Yusuf Atal. They've been linked with him together with Atletico Madrid for for a few months ago, and he's a fantastic goalkeeper. I can perfectly see Yusuf Atal being the a key man for Pochettino if he signed because he's the kind of player that none of people lo know of and once Pochettino gets his hands on him he's gonna develop it into one of the best right backs in world football and then someone's gonna be paying 60 70 million for him god knows where I think that he could get him for 20 million and he would be a bargain of designing at that because his potential is immense and a left back um, we'll see because Obvious, like the obvious rumor seems to be Tagliafico to join Spurs because he, you know, he's Argentinian, the same as Pochettino. He had a really good season at Ajax, and I think Tagliafico is pretty good left back. He going forward is really good defensively. It's fine. I just think that there is better, like for his age. I think there is better out there, and in my, in my opinion, you could get him. For about the same price, about 20 million euros, you could get Rafael Guerrero. Uh, Rafael Guerrero ends contract with Borussia Dortmund at the end of next season in 2020. He is really good, in my opinion, one of the best left backs in the world. Has a really good engine. It's basically, in my opinion, a Danny Rose that is better going forward. That has better ability going forward. That can take on players. Like It's between a better Danny Rose and a worse Marcelo at his best. So... I think that Guerrero would be really good for Spurs and again would do a lot of a good role together combining with Hoi Min Son and Deli Alley and in those attacking areas. Uh, in midfield, it's been rumored. Like I think the two players that are being rumored with Boris with uh Tom Hotspur in center midfield, they have to be in the double pivot, Giovanni Lo Celso and Tangi and Dumbele. Uh Lo Celso had a wonderful season with Betty. I do not know exactly why the likes of PSG are letting go of their like the best center midfielders. But Giovanni Celso for 25 million was a steal by Betis, and his season was absolutely sensational. Also, also a lot of good key passes and interceptions per game for a progressive midfielder. Uh, his ball progression is really good. His dribbling is absolutely world class. And Dombella the same has a lot of energy, a good engine on him. Uh, good tackling interception numbers as well. He has a good presence. They're both young. They're all bo both about the same age, and they're gonna perform different roles. And Dombele can be more of that destroyer, but at the same time, giving you a lot of energy. And Lo Celso can give you a lot of creativity, but also good defensive numbers as well to cover for that. Uh, they both have a lot of energy, a lot of stamina. Would be really good. They're both Pochettino type players. And another like you know keep like center midfielder that you could sign if you cannot get both of them is maybe Rabio on a free. I know that he already rejected Spurs kind of that he says that he should be better and you know if a player says that I would already not sign him. But in the case that he would be willing to join Spurs on a free, that would be a great signing for Spurs, given that they don't have a lot of money to spend. I think that. You know, between Los Also and Endon Bell, they're both great, and Rabio will be a great addition. And you know, you have to cut for cover, you have the likes of Sissoko, Wings, and Oliver Skip. I think that Wings and Skip are young, they can do a role, they'll definitely be fine for backup. 
Musi Soko is not my favorite player at all. I think that he's actually not that great, but he's been decent. I think he won player of the year for Spurs and he was pretty good this season. So, you know, I'll give him a chance at backup. The worst thing that happened, he like he playing a few games this season. He's not going to hurt anyone, I hope. Uh, the front three, the front three before the striker, those three attacking midfielders, in my opinion, should be uh, Deli Ali, Malcolm, and Hoi Min Sun. If you're not gonna have Ericsson, I think that if Ericsson leaves, Ali obviously plays the number 10 position centrally. Son of the left, Malcolm of the right. Malcolm hasn't endured a good time at Barcelona this season, and again, given given confidence by a coach like Pochettino that trust in the youngsters would be really good for Malcolm, a good destination. Uh, Son again, what an underrated play, one of the most underrated players this season and people already noticing his class. Uh, he has stepped it up when King was injured and Ali also, fantastic player. Uh, you have Lucas Mora for backup in all those three positions, plus he can play up top. Uh, you have the likes of Harry Kane that when fit is probably the best striker in the world at this moment in time, uh, fantastic, both, even playing every style, in the counter, with, on possession, really good dribbler, uh, good passer, good fin an absolutely world class finisher, good with his head, uh, he can drop deep, help press, lead the press, absolutely world class, and I think, for example, in those attacking midfield areas, if you want to sign another player, uh, rumors of, Ham of Hakim Ziyech and James Rodriguez, Isco, Players like that, James, you know, it's gonna return to Real Madrid. He's surplus for requirements. Everyone knows him. That's gonna drive his price down. You get him for between 40 to 50 million. Still had a pretty good season at Bayern, so that would be a player that I would consider. You know, James Rodriguez, at his best, he's a player that it's worth 100 or 150 million euros. And if you can get him for 40 million, and considering that he's what 26, 27. It still could be one of the best players in the world in the coming years. Hakim Ziyech, you know, has, has had fantastic scenes at Ajax for the past couple years and the same at FC20 before he joined Ajax. He's been showing really good things and could be really good for Tom Hotspur. He used to sign a lot of energy, a lot of good pressing, players that suit Pochettino's playing style. And I think that for the backup, for the number 9, uh, you know, you can have Sun. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't sign anyone in the number 9 for the backup because I think Son perfectly proved that he's able to fit, to fit in that role and Lucas Mora also kind of had that role at the end of the season so but I think that if you're gonna sign someone you can sign someone like Wissam Ben Yedder someone that's not gonna be pressuring Harry Kane but more like he has played in this kind of role where he's sporadically playing and he's been great for Sevilla had a wonderful season at Sevilla this season, good shooting with both feet, uh, quick, good dribbler, good link of play, uh, good at pressing, decent, pretty decent at pressing, and I think that he would be a pretty good uh, player for Tom Hotspur. Uh, with all this said, this is the squad that I would, that if I could choose the squad for Spurs, that I think is realistic, that it has really good players in it, and you know, leave me your comments in the comment section below. Who do you think Tom Hotspur needs to sign to, you know, challenge for Premier League titles, uh, Cups, Champions Leagues? Uh, leave me all your opinions in the comment section below. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, Blood Grenades.